afternoon and welcome to episode five of Mariners TV. We are here today at the beautiful Central Coast Stadium. It is a beautiful sunny day. Oh, that's a day for it, it isn't is it? It is <laughs> such a day for midweek football. Absolutely glorious. We are taking on Melbourne City tonight at seven o'clock. I am Carly Carmichael and of course Pete Pryor joining us again tonight. Welcome Pete. It's happy to be here once again. Yes. No, absolutely beautiful. So we're so excited about tonight. Again, it is Kids Go Free. So, you know, um, if you're not back at school yet or, you know, happy for the kids to have a bit of a later night than usual, make sure you jump on to tickertech.com.au and grab your uh, Kids Go Free tickets. Up to four juniors can come for free with an adult ticket. That's a, that's a pretty good deal. It's a deal. It's so, it. <laughs> you know, if you've got, you know, an army of kids, make sure you are jump online, grab that, bring them along tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll see the boys get three points over Melbourne City. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And uh, what else have we got coming up today, Pete? Well, we'll be catching up with uh, Socceroos fitness coach and, of course, Mariners legend as well, uh, Andrew Clark, uh, as well as Mariners defender Ruan Tongik. Uh, he'll be joining us a bit later on the show. We'll, uh, as always, be bringing you all the team news and lineups ahead of kickoff. Um, and reflecting on a very special milestone here today at Central Coast Stadium, it is Matt Simon's 200th game in the Yellow and Navy. Um, so what, what, a, uh, what, a, what an occasion for him. Yeah, um, beautiful. Before all that, Carly, Carly, I think we're giving away some more free stuff. We've got more free stuff. We've got so much free <laughs> stuff to give away on this show. I love it. I feel like... Uh, who is it? Larry Emder on Price is Right. <laughs> Something along those lines. Yes. So um, our first giveaway is our Baker's Delight competition. Um, like we did last week, um, you've got the chance to win a fantastic um, uh, hamper. So you've got your high fibre, low GI loaves, white rolls, twisted delights, mini cheese and bacon rolls, uh, mini finger buns and hot cross buns. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we, I love the chocolate chip ones. They're the best. <laughs> so um, up to $55 value. If you've got a family, absolutely perfect, especially now that we're coming back for, from school. Um, all you need to do to get into the draw is to SMS the word baker and your full name along with your suburb to 0481 073 292. So um, we will pop those details in the comments as well. So make sure you do that at some stage um, during the show and then we'll be contacting the winner afterwards um, to, yeah, pick that up. So it is actually open, only open to Central Coast residents as well. I need to um, mention that because pickup will be from the Erin Affair Baker's Delight who are a fantastic sponsor of the club and we're so happy to have them on board. Nice little carb fest in that oh, amp there, isn't it? Look, it's, it's pretty much my dream. <laughs> my dream meal <laughs> all of that in one sitting just one sitting yeah exactly right what a day and so we do have another giveaway as well this is one if you are attending the game tonight this is the one that you really want to pay attention to our best seats in the house competition you might have noticed if you've come along to the game these white chairs that are right on the sidelines um you know it's it is it's the best seat in the house it is yeah <laughs> so all thanks to best signs this could be you tonight so if you're coming along to the game Throw uh, throw your details in the in the comments. Let us know your name, why you know who you're coming along with, um, what and why do you want to win this. Mm. And then at the end of the show, we'll comment. Uh, we'll pick someone at random, and that will uh, get them those details. We'll get them those details so that they can uh, be upgraded and take on those best seats. So and um, that does include your food and beverage as well. So there's chicken burgers, there's beef burgers, and it includes soft drink and water as well. So that sounds like that's, an absolute deal. That is a, a pretty good, um, pretty good deal. And then you know, obviously being out there to watch um, tonight, Matt Simon's 200th game as well. A huge one. So if you are coming along, um, try and get here early if you can. At 6:20, we'll be doing um, a presentation to Matt. Simon on the field um, of a really, really lovely jersey, thanks to Jalux Art. Again, another one of our fantastic sponsors. And um, so if you're here, if you're in the best seats in the house, you've, you've got the best seat to watch that. To watch the presentation. Much, it's yeah. pretty much right there. Yeah, you, exactly. You're, you're part of it. Yeah, exactly. So. Right, feel even more part of the action here at Central Coast <laughs> Stadium tonight. So make sure that um, yeah, you, you're getting in and around that competition there. Get your entries into um, or comment on the feed, as Carly said. Yep. to uh, go on the chance. And I guess speaking of uh, Simo's 200th game, what a what a milestone for him. He's it such is. a he's the goat. We he, always talk about he's the goat. The goat of East Gosford. He is. Yes, the wizard of Woi Woi, the Mariners all-time leading goal scorer and six-time golden boot winner of course. Yes. Um, what's your favorite Matt Simon moment, Carly? <sighs> it's 
hard to tell. I mean, his first goal was against Newcastle, wasn't it? It sure and, was. You know, you've got to love a, a derby goal. He scored a few against Newcastle he has, over the years. And you know what? You kind of can see in his eye that's really maybe what sparked that, you know, passion for the derby game. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably one of my favourites. Being a Coast Junior, I think he really gets the, the importance of the derby games. Yeah. You know, he knows how we as fans really feel and how important those games are to us as fans. So, yeah. you know, he's, he's not just playing as a player, but he's playing as a fan at the same time, I think, as well. Yeah, no, definitely. And, I mean, another a classic classic goal would be the penalty against victory oh, last season. Hard to go past it, isn't it? I mean, we were talking about it before. You know, he's got the ripped shirt. He's got that... Matt Simon look in his eye. The steely and, gaze. And just, you know, the celebration afterwards. You, just, you know, it was so late in the game as well. It was just, you couldn't write a better story, I well, guess. In fact, it is the latest goal in in A-League uh, regular season history, that one. So he also holds the record for that. It's just peak Matt Simon yeah, areas. Yeah. And <laughs> jumping over the advertising hoardings and throwing up the shaka on his way through. You can't really get better than that. No, it's so good. And... And tonight, not only will he be um, presented with a framed jersey, he's actually being presented with his Socceroos cap. So he, um, he appeared for our national team a couple of times back in 2009. He is Socceroos cap number 526. So he has that tonight yep. um, that will be presented to him on the field. We've got a um, our Mariners Corporate Network function happening just over there. So if you are coming to the game, you'll see the marquee on the Western warm-up field. Mm -hmm. And inside, we've got Graham Arnold, Andrew Clark, yep. John Crawley, um, Benny O'Neill, who was our former media manager, of course, yeah. now working for the national team. Um, so there's a lot of people there. Um, it's a real all-star cast, it, it isn't is. it? <laughs> Wilco's in there as well. Yeah. Lots of people coming here today to celebrate Simo's 200th, which is just, it's fantastic to see everyone coming back because he is such, he's such a legend on the field, but he's also just one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. 100%, yeah, definitely. Ge absolutely genuine, mm. genuine bloke, yeah. And um, so we'll be speaking with Andrew Clark very soon once he um, makes his way out of the function. But for now, we will just hear a few words from our sponsors. So again, our Mariners Corporate Network function going ahead. We spoke to Dan a couple of weeks ago. We did. Dan the man. <laughs> He's, um, he lives and breathes it. So um, if you wanted to get into our corporate networking function to um, experience it and be part of this, um, make sure you hit up Dan um, via the club's uh, channels. Info at ccmariners.com.au. But let us now just hear from a word from our sponsors. Looking for a deal? Bundle your internet and mobile with Mate and you'll save $120 a year. That's a spanking new extra small pair of budgie smugglers. What a package. places. My name is Andrew and I've been working for Lasercraft for seven years. When I first started here about like seven years ago, I was basically just on a trial before I started here and they gave me this job straight away. So I started off doing three days a week and they offered me to give me more days and now uh, I work four days a week now, which is good. I love the Mariners. I've been supporting for about 16 years now, ever since they first started in 04. So, my name is Shah. I'm an important representative here at Lasercraft. I'm also a Mariners volunteer. Um, I came here in 2018, and then the people are really nice, the staff are great, everyone's really good, so it's good to get along with other people. And 
Um, so I work on Monday, I do the, the pamphlets sometimes, or civilian pegs, or wire line. Then I'm at the game, so I set up the sauce bottles, the cannon, get all the chairs ready, make sure they're spread out. Um, the coach does a good job with them. So hopefully this year's the year they can show that to the fans and to everybody this year in the community and they can go all the way and win the untitled. The Mariners for me, they're a team that's on the, on, the, on the rise. They work very, very hard on themselves and I work hard because the Mariners work hard. Visacraft is an Australian disability enterprise. We have been designing and manufacturing the highest quality timber, acrylic and fusion awards since 1987. Another huge thank you to all of our fantastic sponsors. We obviously couldn't without them. Um, you know, just their support, and I guess also getting behind our um, our corporate networking functions we have been having. Yeah. Um, lots of fantastic feedback. So again, couldn't do it without you guys. Um, yeah, really excited to uh, see how everything grows as well. And um, we actually have now our club legend, Andrew Clark, who will be joining us here on the desk. An absolute pleasure. Well, um. Welcome. Hey guys, we'll how are you? Thanks over. for having me. And let you in. Um, how are you enjoying the function so far? Sorry to pull you out of it, I'm sure. Uh... Yeah, no, <laughs> it, it's fantastic. I mean, Simo's a long time friend and family friend and um, to see him achieve things at this club, is it's it's awesome for him and, and awesome for the region as well. Yeah, of course, of course he's, a, he's a coast local like yourself as well. Yep. Uh, I think you played your junior football at, uh, was it Wyoming? Mate, I was born just over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gossy <laughs> Hospital, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you played a couple of junior clubs on the coast and, um, of course, the coast rep side as well. Yeah. Um, how did it feel for yourself as a local boy to be part of that inaugural Mariners side? Yeah, it was a pretty amazing time for all of us. And I think that uh, being in there today and seeing some of those guys, it always brings those early days, you know, really back to you. You know, they are such fond memories and, you know, so close to um, everything that I did in football, like everything I worked towards ended up you know, being the best times we're here. Um, we went through periods in Australian football where, you know, as a young Central Coast kid, you had to travel a lot to be able to play football professionally and then to get right near the end of my career and um, for the A-League to be created and then the team to be created, you know, when you, you could see the end in sight and then to be able to play five years here, it was fantastic. I'm just really fortunate. Um, who would you consider some of the best Mariners you've been able to play, uh, play alongside of? Uh... Look, I think the, the, the thing that Laurie did in that first year, he, he cherry-picked the very best players that were playing in Australia. Mm. And so he was ahead of the curve with his experience in the National League to know who those players were. And so we had you know, players like Gumps and like Tommy Pondelyak, um, you know, Quaza was a fantastic talent. I played with Brownie from when we were 10 years old. Um, they're all great players. Um, and then you know, the, the guys that we got in at the club after I finished playing like Patrick Svansvike and you know they've had fantastic careers all around the globe so they're all great players but then you also start to think about some of the younger players that made their start here and have gone on to play all around the world and play for the Socceroos and I think you know to to walk into a Socceroos camp and for, for the first time and be nervous as a coach you know walking into you know the, the highest level in Australia and it being like walking walking into Mariners 2009, <laughs> it just it was surreal, you know. Um, so I think some of those young players like Matty and 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 uh, Trent and Bernie, like they've all gone on to do fantastic things. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Speaking of coaching, you, you started your journey into coaching while you were still a player here at the at the, uh, at the Mariners. What was that process like? Yeah, it was a really interesting start, actually. Um, you know, in those early years. Uh, Funds were tight for everyone, um, and I got an opportunity. Laurie gave me the opportunity because of my background in sports science to do a dual role at the club. Mm. Um, it was a one-year trial that I took on with him. That turned into a three-year contract that turned into another three years. <laughs> um, so I think you know he gave me the first opportunity to you know start to build uh, my skills and my CV as a sports scientist. And then you know from there, when I finished, it was a natural progression and. The role becomes a lot different when you're full time compared to where you're playing, but you know that's taken me then on to you know sports science and more coaching and performance management. So 
That's how I'm here. And so how did the, I guess, the key differences and the challenges between coaching at a club level and then moving on to a national side? Yeah, the, the challenges are, like, they're so different. Mm. It's hard to understand until you're actually doing it. Um, you've got a situation where, you know, you're working with players every day, you really get to know players where um, your intention is to create changes in the players, to maximise what they're capable of. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get into a um, national team environment where you don't get to see the players very often. You have to build relationships with players that you've never really coached before, and that's, that's difficult. It happens. It takes longer. Um, and then you have to work really hard with the clubs to build a trust relationship so that you can share ideas and, you know, share your programming or your thoughts on programming with the clubs to try to help the players. So it's completely different, but... The challenges are both satisfying and, um, you know, I think we're in a really good place even though COVID, you know, has really hurt us at the moment with our contact. We're in a good place with our relationships with the players and understanding what they, they're capable of. Speaking of COVID, we've, we've heard some coaches sort of come out in the last few weeks and say that that could be, I guess, a really sort of beneficial period for Australian football. What are your thoughts around that? I think it depends at what level you're looking at and, and especially the, the individual as well. I think it's given us an opportunity um, as a game to kind of reset where we're at and I think that has seen the domestic league go through some real struggles but those struggles have turned into opportunities for young players. We took away the Olympic team in January to qualify with a bunch of players that were barely playing a game of football and now we come to games like this and every single week we're seeing four or five players that have been in our Olympic squad, our under-23 squad, that are starting players for their team. So I think for that group of players it's been amazing. Mm. Um, you know, for players at the other end and, you know, players playing for the Socceroos every day is valuable. And so, you know, we're, we're looking at 15 months now. Jordan, November 2019 was the last time we were with the Socceroos. Wow. Um, and so for some of those players, you know, it's been a long time and their club career paths have changed direction two or three times in that period. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to be really interesting to see um, when we get back up and running with the Socceroos how that team actually looks. I mean, we've got guys like Aidan Prustich, who's now playing in the Bundesliga, mm. you know, who when we first came across him, you know, he was not a starting player in Holland. Like it's a massive difference in a short time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you also recently turned down a move to become assistant coach at uh, Aarhus over yeah. in uh, Denmark, I think. Um, what was the sort of deciding factor in not taking that role? Look, I think um, I, I really uh, appreciated the, the opportunity and if it was a different moment, I, I would have loved to have taken it and, and I hope that opportunity comes again in the future and you know, I'm confident that, that it will. Um, but... I think the strength of what Arnie and myself and the people that we work with have always done is we commit to something and then, you know, we we see it out you know, until we're mm. successful and we've got a big commitment to each other and the players that we started this journey and and that journey was, you know, we want to qualify for the Olympics and play at the Olympics and we want to qualify for the World Cup and play at the World Cup. And I think until that journey ends, um, I, I'm, I don't feel like I... I want to waver off that course at the moment. No, of course. Understand. <laughs> Unfinished business, I guess. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We will let you get back to the function and um, enjoy the celebration of Matt Simon that's happening in there. <laughs> yep. um, yeah, any last things you want to say about Simo? You know, how good is it that his 200th game is here at Central Coast Stadium as well? It's um, yeah, a fitting, fitting venue. It, it's great to be here. The place looks beautiful today and, you know, I, I'm, I'm really happy that, that I was invited to come back. You know, as for Simo, I can't comprehend how someone who's such a great guy off the field is so miserable on the field. You know? <laughs> like, it's this alter ego, and I've never been able to quite deal with it, whether it's training and he's elbowing you in the head or kicking you in the back of the legs. And then he invites you around for dinner with his family, and it's like, oh, man, I can't take this. You know? so, White line um, fever. Congratulations to him. You know, he's a fantastic person for the Mariners and for football. Thank you so much. Um, enjoy the rest of the night. And yeah, thank you for Thanks, joining guys. us. Thanks, Clarky. Thank Cheers. You. Well, we're going to go from one interview straight into another because <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, it's all happening here. That's uh, Melbourne City arriving. So sorry about the bus <laughs> thing happening in the background. Um, well, we will be speaking with Ruan Tonyik, who will be joining us at the desk now. He's going to head on over.
welcome, welcome. Thank you. Hi, real one. How are you doing? <laughs> very good, very good yourself. Yeah, very well, mate. Very well. First question, who's better, Messi or Matt Simon? Matt Simon for me. I've answered yeah. that one before as so. well. <laughs> There's no hesitation. A few boys have hesitated. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I don't think there is. But. Um, what is, who was your favourite footballer growing up? To be honest, um, when I was growing up, I, I enjoyed watching Ronaldinho. Just the love of the game that he had and uh, the way he expressed himself. So I'd say Ronaldinho for me. Does that explain your sort of bombing runs forward out of centre-back? Uh, to be fair, I get excited sometimes, so yeah, I'd probably say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had cle uh, three clean sheets now from our uh, five outings so far this season, which is really a huge improvement on years gone by. Is there sort of anything in particular that you can credit that to? Yeah, I think I think it was just all uh, mentality and just our desire to wanting to win, and um, we've proven that you know we can keep clean sheets and um, we set a foundation for ourselves, and we look to try you know to to improve that each game. And sometimes, obviously, in football you can see goals, but um, you, you look to bounce back, and you know, obviously uh, you work hard to not concede again. And there's been um, a lot of short turnarounds in the very short season we've had so far. Um, are you enjoying the games coming, you know, thick and fast, or um, you know, would you prefer them a bit more spaced out, or do you kind of like the you know, going off the adrenaline from one game to the next. To be honest, I do like the, uh, the adrenaline. Um, I think just the games coming back and forth, um, you know, every player wants to play games and the short turnarounds, obviously, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a bit too quick for our bodies to recover, mm -hmm. but we still, we still have to adapt to it. And I think um, every other team does it as well. But um, as you've seen, uh, we're, this is our, sec our second or third time doing it now. I think um, we've adapted pretty well. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, um, we just look to keep going. Absolutely. It's a big one here at Central Coast Stadium, of course. Tonight it's, uh, it's Simo's 200th game in the Yellow and Navy. Can you give us a bit of insight as to what he has to the squad? Uh, he brings so much, so much to the squad. Um, his leadership, you know, his experience, and um, you know, it's a, it's a big, it's a big milestone for him to uh, to be up to 200 games. I think uh, not many players can do that. And um, yeah, he just brings so much experience to the to the to the club and also to the league. I think um, he's done so well uh, throughout his career, and um, we're we're happy to uh, to be here to um, to play his 200 with him as well. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll let you head back into the sheds and uh, get ready for the game. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's so lovely. He is. He's, he's such a humble, genuine guy. So and um, We spoke to Vince Rigari, of course, last week, who uh, put together a beautiful piece about Ruan helping out one of his uh, elderly neighbours. Yes. Uh, Remo. So beautiful. What a beautiful piece. What a genuine human being he is. And, um, yeah, just such a, such a down to earth guy. Yeah, lovely. Um, we will be um, on the road again. So we've had, we're going to have three home games in a row. And then, just, it's a bit crazy. It's been a week. It's been a crazy week. But then we're having an away game against Wellington in Wollongong. In Wollongong, the Wollongong Phoenix, the Wellington yes. Wollongong Phoenix. Yes. So um, if you want to jump on our supporter bus and get to um, Wynn Stadium down at Wollongong, you can um, head to ccmariners.com.au and get yourself a spot on the bus thanks to Shuttle Bus Central Coast. So you can either um, get a travel only ticket if you already have your tickets and all that already organised. Otherwise, we do have ticket and travel options as well. It's an air conditioned coach. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a fairly long drive. It is, yeah. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a good couple of minutes down yeah, the road. It is, yeah, it is. Um, yeah. So if you want to, you know, be able to enjoy a couple of beverages and things like that, it's the perfect opportunity. Um, the bus will be stopping at a, um, a bowling club as well. Down at Balambi, yes. So, you know, you can go off there, grab a late lunch, grab some more drinks, and um, yeah, catch up with other Mariners fans there before you head in. So if you want to get your spot, ccmariners.com.au. Due to uh, capacity on the bus, seats are limited. So if you want to get your spot, make sure you do that very, very soon. That one, of course, is on Sunday, the 14th of February. A very romantic trip, potentially, down to, uh, <laughs> down to Wollongong for anyone interested. So, yeah, get around it, I reckon. I guess if you haven't got a Valentine's Day gift yet for someone and they would like the, to attend. The Mariners fan base can be your Valentine. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that where you'll be taking uh, lovely Lauren? Oh, yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Nothing more romantic than a Mariner's win down oh, in Wollongong, I to think. To be fair, she would love it. I think she, she would, would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so from that... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's one of those days. It is. Um, so, yes. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Move. I think we had a look at um, some, <laughs> some, teammates. some content between Piercy and yes. Beers the other day. <laughs> yes, so um, Piercy and Beerus, our two goalkeepers, um, generally pretty quiet, mm. pretty quiet guys, yeah. but when you put them together, they have quite a bit of banter, so let's see uh, how well they know each other. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
goes you don't to cook. You have packet meals nah, every when night. I, when I want to cook, I can cook. <laughs> 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 what shambles we got today. What's up? <laughs> That's my fifth uh. thing. Yeah, I listen to yeah. You know, yeah. Your playlist has got a bit of everything on there. But in my own time it's heavy metal. Um. I can't play that around him. <laughs> Go elaborate. Yeah. Huh? Elaborate on that one. God, what do you got? He wears Doc Martens, that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the leaders in the team, I'll have to. <laughs> I never drive. PC always drives me to training every morning, so he's my he's my Uber driver here. <laughs> every day. Every day we catch. Every morning, like seven o'clock, dog. Can you pick me up, please? Yeah, man. Um, Doing it tough these days. Got to save petrol, you know. <laughs> How many? Are yeah, hey, Carly cooks for you, man. No chance. Carly, no. no this goes you don't to Carly. Cook. You have packet meals nah, every when night. I, when I want to cook, I can cook, but no. Carly's a good cook. I'm and not having that. Carly, my wife I'm sorry, good... Beerus has taken your fame here. My wife is a very good cook, and but... Sometimes I do go over to their place, and the reason why I know he doesn't cook is because it's there cooked for him. Really? And it's yeah. unbelievable. But I'm still a better cook. You have packet <laughs> food every night. I do have frozen meals. From or... Caltex, frozen meal. No, no. I have... Um, like a U Foods or yeah, no, nah, yeah. not having that. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, yeah. What? Slash demo. Quality content. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. You put two keepers. I think they say generally say the goalkeepers are crazy, right? So you yeah. put them both in a room together, and yeah, yeah. there you go. That's what happens. And <laughs> um, we did mention last week our competition. Uh, well, not our competition. Our challenge of what can't Dan do. Oh yes. Um, we've been getting a couple of um, requests. A couple of different challenges. Some of them we will be putting to Dan. Some of them probably a little bit too outrageous. <laughs> um, as mentioned, we do want to make sure that Dan is safe and his health and safety is our number one priority. So make sure you get those challenges in. We'll put the um, link into the comments a little bit later. So make sure you send them through. We did set him up for his first challenge, which we'll be showing you the footage on our Sunday episode. We gave him a traditional crossbar challenge, mm -hmm. um, gave him a couple of different um areas on the field to go from. I won't tell you how it ends, but um, it was definitely interesting. <laughs> well, I haven't even seen it yet, so yeah, no, no, I'm, yes, I'm definitely um, looking forward to seeing that, um, that piece together and, and hopefully we'll have that uh, ready for Sunday, I think. Yes, we definitely will. Oh, I'm looking forward and to that. And don't forget also, what you can win tonight is a Best Seats in the House upgrade. So if you're coming along to the game tonight, make sure you let us know in the comments. Um, let us know um, why you would like to win that. Um, and we'll be selecting someone at random to take that upgrade. It includes those fantastic white seats that you see on the sideline um, up near the northern end of the field. It includes food and beverage um, and, again, the best seats in the house. You've got Absolutely. the best view. So that is all thanks to Best Signs, one of our fantastic sponsors. Um, really looking forward to being able to give that away a little bit later. Can't wait. And what are we moving on? Oh, Matt Simon highlights. Of That's course, what we're going to talk yeah. About. As, as we spoke about earlier, it is Simo's 200th game uh, in the Yellow and Navy, and we're here at Central Coast Stadium for it. What a what a beautiful day for it as well. Um, you reckon he's on for a goal tonight or what? Oh, he has to be. He has to he be. Has to. I saw him before. He was uh, in the corporate function 
giving the guys a little bit of a, a chat to some of our corporate partners, mm -hmm. and uh, you could just see it in his eyes. He's ready for it. Oh, he's focused. Yeah, <laughs> you can see. I think he's always focused. Yeah. He's always got that sort of hyper focus ahead of a yeah. game, and he's, um, you know, just his hunger, his fire, his determination, and you know, that's that's what everyone says that he brings to the squad as well. Hundred so, um, percent. Definitely looking forward to seeing him take the pitch tonight. That's why he's better than Messi. <laughs> that's right. That's the general consensus <laughs> yeah, amongst most of the Mariners squad that we've spoken to so far. So yeah. yeah. Well, we'll head over now to watch some highlights, and then there are some fantastic words from some of his former teammates who've uh, got some really great things to say about Matt Simons. Let's head to that now. Tennis Osman was up there. Armand Elrich heads it towards goal. It's in! Matt Simon has won the derby, perhaps, for the Mariners. After being second best for much of the second half. Entering forward to help out. Good ball to Matt Simon. Equaliser for the Central Coast Mariners. Why wouldn't they? Here's Fitzgerald for the Mariners, trying to find a way back into it. Simon tries a stroke and he finds the bottom corner. The way the Phoenix like pushing up. A high line. Chance now again for the Mariners and they've opened the scoring. Matt Simon. Three in the box to try and pick out. And the opening goal arrives. And it just had to be, didn't it? Matt Simon. Fast ball is run up. Matt Simon. Straight through everything. Pick that one out. Have to survive this. And that's on target, it's in the back of the net from Matt Simon. It is three. Amini, Abini, no flag, he's onside, Bernie Abini. Across the face of goal, simple it surely will be, and it is Matt Simon does it again. He just loves scoring against the Jets. Well, as you go for placement on this one. But, like I said, victory had three points into injury time. Extraordinary. The only continues to deliver high drama. Here we go again. Simon against Thomas. In off the frame of the goal. 50 goals up for the Mariners for Matt Simon. Pandemonium in Gosford. The Mariners 3 2. About to big victory for the first time in nearly seven years. Extraordinary. Well. Well, Matty Simon, 200 games for the Central Coast Mariners. Who would have ever thought back in 2007 when I first brought you into the Olympic team that the journey would still be continuing today? Mate, a big congratulations for your 200th game at uh, the club that brought you up and in the areas of the Central Coast that brought you up. And uh, you have a, a fantastic evening. You thoroughly enjoy the the occasion, it's a, it's a rare opportunity for any type of player to get this type of thing of 200 games, especially uh, at one club as, as in the Central Coast Mariners. Mate, you're a, a, a great player to coach. Um, the loyalty that you've always shown to the, the club but also to the team, the team is always number one in the view of Matty Simon, a great leader in the dressing room and on the pitch. No frustration tonight, Matty. I will be there watching. And I wish you all the best and have a great night. Congratulations. Simo, I just wanted to say a big congratulations on your 200th appearance for the club, mate. Uh, top goal scorer for the club. Definitely a player that you want on your side, especially in training where your tackles were probably worse than they are in normal games. Well done, mate. A great achievement. A great servant for the club. And hope to see plenty more games with you out there. Well done, mate. Simo, mate, congratulations on the 200 games, bud. Huge achievement to be able to play. Uh, 200 games for the Mariners. You've given that club everything over the years. Um, you know, on the pitch, all the goals you've scored, your passion, your leadership, your never say die attitude. Um, but also off the pitch, mate, being a local boy, you've also contributed a lot to, to the success up there. Um, been lucky enough to share um, some good times on and off the pitch with you throughout the years, mate. You're a fantastic teammate, as you know anyone who has who's played with you will say. But you're also, most importantly, a top bloke. And um, I count myself lucky to have been able to play so many years with you and, and share a change room with you over the years. So good luck in the 200th, mate. Hopefully there's a few more to come. Catch up with you soon. Hey, Simo. Just want to congratulate you on your 200th game. 
Uh, it's been a great achievement for coming from East Gosford to the Mariners, to the Socceroos, and most of all, you're a really good mate, and I wish you all the best in the future. G'day, guys. Danny Vukovic here from Genk. Minus one degrees here today. It's brilliant. Uh, I must admit, I'd much prefer to be on the coast right now uh, enjoying the Aussie summer. But uh, I've been asked to talk a little bit about a very special person, uh, someone that's going to be playing his 200th A-League game this Wednesday for the Mariners. And that, of course, is Matty Simon. Uh, Simo is uh, an absolute legend. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to play with him for many, many years. I was at the club when he first came. Um, I can remember it like it was yesterday, to be honest. Uh, we all were thinking, uh, who is this guy? Yeah, we heard a little bit about him, uh, a local guy who was scoring goals in, in the Central, Central Coast State League. Uh, I guess we we're a little bit curious as to, you know, what he was going to be able to do for us, but we, we could quickly realized, uh, he was going to be something special. Um, he's the epitome of, of hard work and dedication and certainly a player that you want playing for your team and, and not against you, um, which I, I've had both and, and certainly much prefer him on my side. Um, it's probably safer that way, but, uh, you know, with Simo, what you're going to get, uh, you're going to get 100% every single time. Uh, he's going to put his body on the line for the team and do everything in his power to to help you win the game. And that's the sort of play that you want playing for you. And uh, I think he'd be high up on the list of uh, the strikers that defenders don't like coming up against in the league because they know he's going to be breathing down their necks all game and... Um, I think he puts a little bit of fear into the opposition defenders. So um, just a, an honour to have played with him and, and super proud of him to, to see how far he's taken his career. He's a socceroo and um, he played overseas in Korea and uh, now he's going to be playing his 200th game. So to, to Matty, I uh, just want to wish you all the very best, mate. Uh, as I said, you're a champion, an honour to have uh, called you a teammate and uh, I'm proud to call you a friend now and um, just wish you all the best. Hope you can win the game, maybe score a goal or two and, and I yeah, hope you can continue playing for as long as uh, you want to. You'll certainly go down as a Central Coast legend and uh, I look forward to getting back home and, and one day sharing a beer with you and uh, reminiscing on all the good times that we had together. All the best, pal. Take it easy. So good to see some of Simo's best moments yeah. there. And, of course, hear from some um, some former Mariners legends there as well. Yeah, it was a trip down memory lane, wasn't it? It really was. <laughs> I got so nostalgic watching that. It's so good to see Danny as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was minus one. Minus one over in Genk, yeah. That's yeah. horrible. Lovely little tribute paid by Vuka, though, wasn't it? I'm uh, very happy to be here. <laughs> here and I, don't, I don't do the cold. Um, we'll do another quick reminder. Our Baker's Delight competition is up and running, so make sure that you get into the draw for that. Thanks to Baker's Delight at Aaron Affair, our fantastic sponsors. Your chance to win that amazing pack right there, valued at about $55. Perfect if you've got a family, just gone back to school, you know, and so many of those things. You can just pop in the freezer and we'll be fine. Well, perfect for your school if you lunches. just feel like a carb fest yourself, yes. you know? <laughs> I'm trying very hard not to think about bread. <laughs> the hot cross buns. <laughs> so make sure you SMS Baker to 0481 073 929 along with your full name, suburb and postcode. It is only open to Central Coast residents um, because you will need to pick that up from Baker's Delight at Erin Affair. And we've got lineups. We do. We've got lineups. We've got lineups. Would you like to start with Melbourne City? We will tonight? have a look at the away side Melbourne City, of course. First up, starting in goal is Thomas Glover. Uh, they'll have uh, Scott Galloway, Scott Jamison, Jamie McLaren, uh, Florin Berenger, Craig Noon, Naoki Subaki, Connor Metcalf, Adrian Luna, Curtis Good, and Karen Stokes in the starting 11. Uh, starting on the bench for. I was about to say the Phoenix, not the yeah. Phoenix tonight. It's been such a short turnaround, it caught me out uh, for Melbourne City. Uh, the reserve goalkeeper, Matthew Sutton, Nathaniel Atkinson, Taras Gomulka, sorry, uh, Stefan Kolakovsky, uh, Benjamin Garuccio, Marco Tilio, and Alex Mills. Fantastic. And lining up for your Central Coast Mariners this evening, we've got Birrigidi in goals, uh, number five, Stefan Negro. Gianni Stensness, Danny De Silva, Jack Clisby, uh, Marco Ureña, back uh, 
back in this starting. Which oh, is starting for, for his first time. Yeah, sorry, starting for his first time. Kai rolls. Matt Simon's got the captain's armband on again. Unfortunately, um, Oliver Bazanic still a little bit tender from, uh, you know, just the slight dislocated shoulder. Just a slight uh, one, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure he would be loving to be out there tonight. Mm. But, um, yeah, obviously, with such a short turnaround, do have to make sure he rests. Mm -hmm. um, Ruon Tonyik, um, Yonota, he's out there again tonight as well. Casella. And then on the bench, we've got Adam Pearce, Lewis Miller, um, Stefan Yankovic, Daniel Bowman, Dan Hall, Alou Kual, and Max Ballard. So a couple of the new Visa boys getting their first start yes. for the club tonight. Of course, Mikhail Iannotta and Marcos Urrenia um, getting their first starts. Yeah, um, can't looking wait forward to, to see seeing, it. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what they can add to the side. Yeah, I mean, we got to see, you know, a little bit of a taste of them um, in our last match. Mm. Um, you know. Bit of a teaser. Yeah, a bit of a teaser. Yep. Let's see what the, they can bring out tonight against Melbourne City. From the start, yeah. We'll go score predictions. Obviously, I'm always waiting way off so let's go with yours because yours are normally let's much better than me. mine I'm, I'm thinking goal fest because it usually is between oh, yeah? us and city here at uh, at central coast stadium i'm thinking three two mariners see i was thinking more a, a mariners one nil i'm a bit more conservative okay, this yeah. time around and of course goal scorer is going to be matt simon i'm, I'm just I'm gonna picking, yeah i'm picking simo for at least one at least one he yeah. could just get a whole hat trick why not <laughs> why not why not <laughs> increase that leading goal scorer tally that he's got rolling on with the club yes for sure <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Kickoff is only about just over an hour away. If you are heading along tonight, make sure you get your tickets on sale. Oh, sorry, online. Ticketech.com.au. Um, online only. Box office will not be open tonight. Um, so, and there's Kids Go Free. For every full um, paying adult in a general admission seat, you can get up to four juniors for free. So take up on that offer, bring along the family and enjoy. It's an absolutely beautiful day for football. So you won't regret it. Looking forward to seeing you here. No worries. Thanks so much tonight. Thanks, guys.